Welcome to Smart Account Tips. You may already know that the email address and password you provide when you're setting up your smart account is what Smart uses to identify you every time you sign in to use Smart software. That email address and password become your Smart Account credentials. They're your access pass to all the Smart software that you use now and in the future, and to all your lessons and settings. But when you create your Smart Account, you don't create your account profile from scratch. Instead, you connect to an existing Google or Microsoft profile. Most of you watching are probably teachers, so in this video, we're going to walk you through how to choose the best profile to connect to your new smart account. Some of you may also be system administrators or members of IT support at a school, and this video will help you guide teachers as they create their accounts. As a teacher, you're probably signing up for a smart account so you can sign into Smart Notebook software or sign up for Smart Learning Suite Online. When you sign up, you might wonder why you have to pick Google or Microsoft in the first screen that appears, instead of just typing an email address. The reason is, like many companies today, Smart doesn't actually create your account from scratch. Instead, we connect to an existing account provider and build on an account that you've already set up. By selecting Google or Microsoft, you're choosing an account provider and profile to use as the basis for your Smart account. After you've selected Google or Microsoft, we'll ask you to enter an email address to identify the profile you want to connect to your smart account. If you have a number of profiles with both account providers, you might wonder which one to use. And if you work at a school, the best email for you to use is actually your professional email address. And that address probably doesn't end in Microsoft.com or Gmail.com. Instead, your address is probably in the format of myname at myschool.org or .net or .edu, whichever extension your organization uses. It might look something like this. It's possible this address is already associated with a Google or Microsoft account. The easiest way to find out is by trying to sign in to Google or Microsoft with that email address and the password you use alongside it. If the sign-in works, your professional email is already associated with Microsoft or Google, and you're all set you can use that address to set up your smart account. Wondering why you need to use your professional email address rather than a personal one? The reason comes down to how you access smart software. Typically, if your school purchased the software you use, a system administrator, either in your building or somewhere in your school district, is in charge of deploying smart software for teachers. System administrators use your professional email address when they set up your access to smart software. They'll have a list of teachers' professional emails, and they'll use that list to authorize or entitle teachers. Once your email address is entitled, you can access Smart Software on any device where it's available, at work or at home, simply by signing into your Smart Account. That's why it's important that you use your professional email address to set up your Smart Account. You want to make sure your account email is the same email that your administrator entitles. But some of you may have a professional email address that's not associated with a Google or Microsoft account. What happens then? You still need a Google or Microsoft profile to create a smart account. Well, fortunately, you have the option of setting up a Google account using your professional email. Just remember that choosing the current email option will not create a new Gmail inbox for you. All it'll do is create a Google account that uses the email address and the password you choose as your sign-in credentials. You can do the same thing with Microsoft. Use your professional email to set up a profile. So pick the account provider that you prefer. That's all there is to it. After your professional email is connected to a Google or Microsoft profile, you can use that profile to set up a smart account. And after your smart account is set up, that email becomes your sign-in ID for all smart software, including Smart Notebook, Smart Learning Suite Online, and any smart applications we may add in the future. That's your smart account tip for today. Got questions? Leave us comments and don't forget to subscribe to Smart Support and save this playlist. In the next video in this series, we'll show you a bit more about how your system administrator sets up your access to smart software using a subscription management platform called the Smart Software Portal.